All right, this started off as kind of an interesting project. Um, it actually started off not really being a project at all. Originally, I just wanted to take this double strike and brass the barrels, get a little bit better seal, put a better, better spring in it, and have just kind of a really quaint little uh, perky sidearm. But alas, the rebarreling went south, and so I thought, oh, I, I still have the rest of this shell. I want to do something with it, and so I needed a new AR assembly. Well, the smallest one I had was this three-shot assembly from a dual strike. But in order to incorporate that, I had to eliminate pretty much the whole front of the blaster. Uh, so in order to attach it, I needed something to fit around the new, much larger housing. And so it basically became a, another little mini integration project like that uh, little pistol that I built for Zambona for Christmas last year. And so this is kind of how things have developed. I It kind of went quick, uh, but I hadn't anticipated it being a project, so I had no intention of making a build log for it because I was just going to brass it and be done. But as it is now, I guess we should uh, kind of discuss what's going on. And because it is hot glued, but it is just kind of mocked up, um, let's go ahead and just take some uh, rubbing alcohol and take off this uh, hot glue. And I like using the alcohol method because hot glue will sit there and it'll stick and it'll be great but then you have to like peel it off and sometimes it leaves like a, a film of it on the spl uh, plastic surface but I just took some rubbing alcohol in this little spritzer deal and you just spray it on there and it kind of soaks in a little bit and then you can just easily separate all the components everybody just kind of slips apart fairly easily and then the the chunks that are left usually just pop off uh, easily as well so what we have is not very much of a dual of a double strike and I had to eliminate a lot of the plunger tube because a lot of the plunger tube is is taken up by the AR assembly of the stock setup, and so since this was a much different setup, I tried to eliminate as much dead space as possible to maximize potential uh, performance. And so this guy's just going to fit in on the end of there. Hopefully this has not been tested at all. This is all hope. So hopefully if it doesn't work very well, it at least looks cool and maybe it'll look nice sitting on somebody's shelf or something, uh, worst case scenario. But that will fit on like that. These are bits off of a persuader, persuader that was broken and was unfixable, and it wasn't a great blaster to begin with. So uh, let's see, like this. Yes. So it'll kind of wrap around. There's going to be some gap filling with either putty or little bits of shell. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how the final fit is of everything, but I had to eliminate the whole rail in order to let this guy sit down as flat as possible because I didn't want it to be overly tall because um, I figured that would throw off the lines. So this guy will fit. There's a little bit more trimming I need to do here to make it hug around this guy a little bit nicer because it's a little snug. But they'll fit there and it will hopefully just barely, it'll barely peek out from under this, this kind of hood area. And that'll fit on like so. This is the top of a night finder that I inverted and fits along the bottom to not only provide a cool rail, but also surrounds the bottom barrel. There again, it'll need to be gap filling and stuff. And so these parts kind of all hug together nice, and there may or may not be more uh, additions or deletions or whatever. This is still in the mock-up um, initial design phase. I didn't really have a solid plan because I hadn't intended to, attended this to originally be a integration. And this is the Persuader grip because I wanted something better than the original double strike grip, but didn't want to reuse the knife finder grip like I did on the last one. So this one is a bit narrower, especially it pinches off really, really, really tight right here. And so there I'll have to, I'll have to get a little creative here with either some sheet material or some clever shell scraps. Um, the first time I put this together, it was swept back quite a ways, and so I didn't like that as much, so I brought it a little more vertical, but 
that's how it was before, and it was a little too vertical, so I think I'm gonna find a little happy medium there. But that's kind of how the project is shaping up so far, and hopefully um, it'll be a little more in one piece next time you see it.